With the definitive fifth Metal Gear just around the corner, it's with its prologue, Ground Zeroes, that we get a taste of what's to come. But how flavoursome is this elaborate demo? Let's break it down and find out. Getting to the bones of this ration pack, Zeroes focuses on one main mission, set between the events of Peace Walker on PSP and Metal Gear that started all on MSX. Your objectives? Rescue two captured soldiers, Paz and Chico, characters seen once before in Peace Walker's story. Adding to the mystery furthermore, there's this menacing foe in between, aptly named Skullface. Pretty. What does he want? No idea, but I doubt it's a photo shoot. Anyhow, upon completion, you're treated by a nifty cutscene, setting up the journey to Phantom Pain. All I'll say is that it can't come soon enough. Powered by the beautiful Fox engine, everything looks quite simply amazing. With the soft glare of the sun, spotlights shimmering in the rain, and wet, glossy character models, it makes me wet just looking at it. <sighs> Moving on. If you get tired looking at the cram-packed textures, then if you're on PlayStation, how about you kit yourself out in pixel uniform and revisit certain moments from the PlayStation 1 original. Setting you the goal of recreating a handful of memories for the title, there's plenty on offer to keep you nostalgic. Xbox side, then even though you won't get to reminisce, you do get to play as Raiden in a specially tailored side mission. It's then your task to rescue the base from an alien force called Snatchers. I didn't say it made sense. Essentially a small package of fan service, there's plenty to chuckle over. What took you so long? Looking past the bones and onto the meat of this little experience, I'd say the gameplay is far more akin to your modern Splinter Cell title. Instead of being taken along a predetermined route, you're given a small sandbox area being able to deal out any tactics at will, should that be all-out assault or a more precise method. Once you've acquired your targets, simply call in a chopper and airlift out of there. You can complete the main mission in under 10 minutes if you really have to, but it's the replays and side missions that add longevity. Make contact and get that cassette tape. Thinking back over the series, MGS has come a long way. Aiming to appeal to a wider audience with more open and fluid gameplay, the game feels solid and the story, as always, multi-layered and full of twists. There's only so much I can say for such a small taster, but if you like games that play well and offer many different gameplay options, you'll be able to spend hours of your time perfecting your technique. The question is, how many of you are willing to put down money on what's essentially a well-executed demo?
there's no doubt in my mind that Ground Zeroes offers solid gameplay with countless hours of replayability. We give the game an 8.5 out of 10 for great, but look forward to the full serving once Phantom Pain arrives in the distant future. As always, don't forget to visit startreplay.com for the full written review, as well as follow us on Twitter, at startreplay.